In 2011, we expect the strong recovery in the Caucasus and Central Asia region to continue. Uh, we expect growth on average in the region to be just under 6% this year. Uh, that's a little slower than the 6.5% that was recorded last year. Looking ahead, uh, I think it'll be important for the region to try to diversify its sources of growth beyond the current drivers of sort of mining, uh, oil and gas. And to do that, uh, it's particularly important for countries to strengthen their business environments uh, in order to give uh, the private sector a bigger role in the economy. I think it's very important that governments and central banks take steps to contain the pressures. Uh, experience tells us that when food and fuel prices rise, they eventually do pass through into more general measures of inflation. Uh, central banks have already been tightening their monetary policy, and we think they may have to do that more vigorously in the future if the pressures continue. So I think a priority for the, for the future is for the countries to try to develop more effective and more targeted social safety nets. And as they're able to do that, um, it, it would then be time to phase out uh, the administrative measures that have been put in place so far and allow more of the global price increases to, to pass through into retail prices.